guys, welcome back to my channel. It's me, Jenny, and today we're going to have another storytelling. And for today, the story is Room on the Broom by Julia Donaldson. This is about a witch who is really kind, not mean. And this witch is so kind that she allows creatures to come on her broom. That's really, really nice. I want to be one of those creatures. Now, let's move on. The witch had a cat and a hat that was black and long ginger hair in a braid down her back. How the cat purred and how the witch grinned as they sat on their broomstick and flew through the wind. But how the witch wailed and how the cat spat. When the wind blew so wildly, it blew off the hat. The hat looks like a pin. And the witch has a long nose and the little cat looks like a baby tiger. That's a bit weird for me, but we'll just move on. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the hat, but no hat could be found. Then out of the bushes, on thundering paws, there bounded a dog with the hat in his jaws. I hope the hat, like, I hope the dog gives the hat to the witch, because she looked a bit weird without the hat. Now let's move on. He dropped it politely, good job dog, and eagerly said, as the witch pulled the hat firmly down on her head. I am a dog as keen as can be. Is there a room on the broom for a dog like me? Yes, cried the witch, and the dog crumbled on. With the witch, the witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. I told you, she allows little creatures to come on. That's really nice of her. Over the fields and forest they flew, the dog wagged his tail and a stormy wind blew. The witch laughed out loud and held on to her hat, but away blew the bow from her braid just like that. Wow, that's really nice. And my god, the dog is trying to catch the braid, like the bow braid. Oh my god, he's a really nice dog. There's some creatures looking at her and there's a castle behind so the witch is laughing even though her bro just went by. Look, over there in a tree hole, there's a bird. I think the bird is going to be next. Let's move on. Down, cried the witch, and they flew to the ground. They searched for the bow, but no bow could be found. Then out from a tree with an ear-slipping streak, there flapped a green bird with the bow in her beak. I told you it was a bird, but I never knew it was green. Let's move on. She dropped it politely and bent her head low. She must have a tragedy before. That's why she's bending, I guess. Then said, as the witch tied her braid in the bow. I am a bird as green as can be. Is there a room on the broom for a bird like me? I think she's going to say yes. I know, I guess. Yes, cried the witch. So the bird fluttered on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. I knew it. There's the green bird. The witch is so happy now. <laughs> okay, let's move on. Over the reeds and the rivers they flow, flew. The bird streaked with glee and stormy wind blew. So much rhyming words. They shot through the sky to the back of beyond. The witch plucked her bow and but let go of her wand. Seriously, a wand is much more important than a bow. Down cried the witch and they flew through the gown. They searched for the wand but no wand could be found. There is a little bit of clue who the next person might be. And for me, I guess it's a frog because I see a little head of a frog over there. Let's move on. Then all of a sudden, from, a, from out of a pond, leaped a dripping wet frog with a dripping wet wand. He dropped it politely and said with a crook, I knew it, it was a frog. Okay, that's not what he said, that's what I'm saying. As a witch dried her, wa her wand on a fold of her clock. That's not also the, what the crock said. Now let's see what the frog is going to say. I am a frog as clean as can be. Wait, 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 wait. Clean as can be? You're a frog. You're supposed to be slimy. But no, 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 no. That's not this frog. This is a very, very clean frog. 
His friends are so dirty. Let's move on with what he said. Is there a room on the broom for a frog like me? Yes, said the witch. So the frog bounded on. The witch tapped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone. Over the moors and the mountains they flew. The frog jumped for joy and what is going to happen? The broom snapped in two. Oh my God. Down fell the cat and the dog and the frog. They went tumbling into a bog. Whoa. The witch's half broomstick flew into a cloud. Then the witch heard a roar that was scary and loud. Oh no, maybe she can't control the other half. So the area where there's all those fluffy, fluffy things, that isn't how you control it. But we need both of them to control it properly. This is going to get crazy, guys. Really, really crazy. I am a dragon as mean as can be. The witch with french fries tastes delicious to me. No, cried the witch, flying higher and higher. The dragon flew after her, breathing out fire. Oh no, such a kind witch and such a big strategy. I hate this part. Help, cried the witch, flying down to the ground. She looked around, but no help could be found. Oh my god, this is really sad. The dragon drew near with the glint of his in his eyes and said, Just once I will have witch without fries. Rude, so rude. But just as he planned to begin on his feast, from out of a ditch rose a horrible beast. Is this for the fight? Is it a fight between the dragon and the beast for the witch? Uh uh, that is not good. It was tall, dark, and sticky, and feathered and furred. What? It could be only one. It had four frightening heads. Oh, wait a second. Four frightening heads. Is it the frog, the bird, the cat, and the dog? They're trying to save the witch, I guess. It had wings like a bird, bird, and its terrible voice. When it started to speak, was a yell and a growl and a crook and a shriek. It's definitely the four animals. It dripped and it squiggled as it strode from the ditch. And it said to the dragon, Buzz off, that's my witch. That's really nice. The dragon drew back and started to shake. I'm sorry, he spluttered. I made a mistake. Ha, the dragon is so afraid. <laughs> this is so funny. I never saw a dragon being this afraid. It's nice to have to meet you, but now I must fly. And he spread out his wings and was off through the sky. That is the most non-bravest dragon i ever seen. Let's continue with the story, shall we? Then down flew the bird and jumped and down jumped the frog down climbed the cat and phew said the dog that's nice like it rhymes so much i don't know why though and thank you oh thank you the grateful witch cried would it without you i would be in that dragon's inside wow all these creatures are so helpful to the little witch maybe because she helped them Let's move on. Then she filled up her cauldron and said with a grin, Find something, everyone. Throw something in. So the frog found a lily, and the cat found a cone. A, the bird found a twig, and the dog found a bone. The bone and the cone rhyme. They threw them all in, and the witch stirred them well. And while she was staring, she muttered a smile. Lickety, zickety, zaggedy, zoom! Then out rose a truly magnificent broom! With seats for the witch and the cat and a dog, and a nest for the bird and a pool for the frog. Oh, that's so cool! Yes, cried the witch, and they all crumbled on. The witch taped the broomstick and whoosh, they were gone! Wow, this new broomstick looks so cool! 
That is not a broomstick. That is the most beautiful thing I ever seen. That's so cool. I really want to go on the pool though. Really want to go on the pool. I love pearls. So that's like the end of the story. I hope you like it. Please subscribe, hit the bell, and don't forget to click the smash and smashing like button. And I'll see you all next time. Goodbye.